Legend of Total War here, and today we've got a saving a disaster battle, playing as the Knights of Kalidor, going up against Tamrakan, where we've got a pretty standard sort of army, nothing too special, and Tamrakan is just insanely difficult to deal with. He's level 43, he's got loads of resistances, lots of health, he's on his Toad Dragon, and the, one of the biggest problems is Pandemesium, which is just a gigantic bomb three times, basically three Ikendukes, and he also outnumbers us with pretty high quality units, a lot of Rot Knights, and quite a few chosen in there as well, so all very dangerous. Let's jump into the battle and see what we can do, but I also want to read out the email, because this is probably one of the cutest emails that's ever been sent in. So he says, Hello, this safe is from my friend, who is shy and didn't want to send it in himself, but is okay with me sending it in. He's having a lot of trouble with this battle and has failed it three times already. He tried to camp the choke point, but the enemy heroes proved too strong to handle. Thank you. Well... I appreciate you, and, and I appreciate your friend as well. That's that's so cute that somebody was a bit too nervous to send it in to me. I mean, what's, what am I going to do? I don't feel like I'm that intimidating. Like, send me a disaster battle. I'm like, oh, you fucking noob. Honestly, dude, tell your friend, if, 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 it depends if he's watching, this battle is actually ridiculously hard. I can tell straight away. Um, most people probably wouldn't win this battle. So don't worry. And, and typically speaking... I only really am mean to people who are rude. So, it, it's all good. Like, everybody has got to start somewhere. But you're playing on Legendary difficulty, and you're going up against one of the toughest enemies in the game, on the battlefield. I'm, I'm not going to insult you. It's all good. Anyway. Now, in terms of your strategy, it's shit. No, I'm just kidding. It's what most people would do in this situation. Hold a choke point. It means a choke point battle. you got an archer army. Makes sense. But yeah, the reason why I wouldn't do it is because of those bombs. Because if you're if you're set up, obviously you'll be in much uh, looser formation than this. But if you're all set up and you're shooting at them, right in the middle of the fight, all of a sudden this friggin' bomb drops off, and it just wipes out one or two of your units. And if you try to move them out of the way, that means they're not shooting anymore. Or if they were in melee, then you've just allowed the enemy to just sort of mess with your lines. I can, stand, I can understand that you want to try to fight them before their reinforcements show up, but I, I really don't see that as being a huge advantage because their forces are not that bad. I mean, it really comes down to Kha'Zix the Befouled and, and Tamrakan being the number one threats in this battle, and we can neutralize them a little bit, I guess. Maybe, we'll see. Uh, but the main thing here is let's get rid of those bombs because that basically gets rid of three of our units. So what I want to do is hide some of our units, actually most of our units to begin with, yeah, over here. You're very lucky you've actually got trees on this map. Okay, then take our weakest unit, which in this case here I think is just a basic unit of archers. It has to be an actual infantry unit or a cavalry unit. Obviously, we don't have any cavalry. Can't be a single entity hero. You guys stand over there as well. You have to be hidden. So, yeah, you come over here. And what we want to do is try to waste all three of those bombs. So, we'll turn everything off fire at will. Put them all on guard mode. So, here's the plan. I reckon they'll take about five minutes to get set up. Two minutes to get these guys organized, and then another two and a bit minutes, I think, to get them into position. At that point, they'll advance. If we stand over here and shoot at them, they'll advance at us straight away. So all we have to do is just not shoot at them, and they shouldn't advance. Now, while that's going on, that gives us a chance to get rid of the three bombs. Then, I want this unit to run over to here and try to draw their forces, as many as possible, down over here. While that's going on, we set up over here. Obviously, this setup here is terrible. Set up over here and try to draw, you know, portions of their army a bit at a time. And we annihilate them, just like one or two units at a time. And then, it largely depends on what's Tamarkan, uh, which group Tamarkan's going to come in. Ideally, it would be good if he came in with the first group. We brought him in over here and we killed him at the very beginning of the battle. Because it's going to take a lot of ammunition, but we want to do it while we're nice and fresh. That would probably be ideal. Um, but I, if I had to guess, I'd say he's more likely going to stand over here. Which means he'll probably be involved in fighting this one. But that'll keep him distracted, at which point we keep him there until the end of the battle. Army lost his army and just hope that we've got some ammunition left to kill him. Because that is kind of the ideal way to get rid of Tamarkan. This unit here is not terrible against him. 
It's just that Tamrakan on, on the Toad Dragon, he tends to charge a lot, and he'll just bowl right through everything. And so even though these guys are anti-large and, and magical attacks, it, it's just... It's just not... They're not going to hit, because you need to pin him down. And we don't really want to use the heroes to pin them down, because Tamrakan's so good against killing heroes. Okay. So, first thing is... Forty-five seconds will be when the first bomb comes in. But yeah, I don't expect them to advance until their forces are ready. Oh shit! It's a bit too late there. Okay, it's okay. I don't do a little bit of damage, but I I was too busy looking over here. So actually, we got pretty lucky with that because I was I was quite slow on the move. That could have done a lot more damage than it actually did. Okay, the next one will be at 2 minutes and 50-ish seconds, roughly. But yeah, I gotta be a bit more, a bit more vigilant there. Just be patient. Uh, it sucks that the Beast of Nurgle is gonna get a chance to regenerate. That's another thing as well. Auto Resolve was taken into account damaged units, which are gonna heal a little bit. Downside to doing this, but still, a, a Beast of Nurgle is not that dangerous. We can kill that very quickly. Okay, here we go. Any second now, because we've got a two minute cooldown, and the ability takes about 10 seconds to go off. There we go. So it's more like 130 seconds. So the next one should be at about five minutes. So yeah, that one was a lot easier to dodge. Because I was actually paying attention that time. But yeah, if you s basically get hit with that directly, it could it can completely wipe out your unit. Because another thing you got to consider is that they don't have to completely kill off the unit to make it functionally useless. If they kill ab about 80% of its health, the unit will probably break. You got a decent amount of experience on these guys, though. Okay, next one will happen in a minute, about 5 minute mark. Okay, just, just wait. A little bit closer. It's just want to try to speed up time just that little bit extra. The Asua do not forget without to fail. Any second now. There it is. Asua go, go, go. Alright, can we dodge it? You also notice that I'm running downhill. That gives us a bit of a speed boost. Just a, just a ever so slightly. You really don't need to do it, but yeah, we dodged it. Okay, cool. All right, let's get over here and start shooting at something that's not going to regenerate because anything that regenerates will just heal. But yeah, this unit here is going to get totally fucked up. There's nothing that we can do to stop that with this plan. It might survive the battle if it routes off the battlefield, but it's going to take a ton of damage. I could just hit route now, but I need to win the battle. So <laughs> let's, let's see what we can do here. Yeah, shooting a Chosen and Nurgle is not ideal, but that being said, all I've got is non-armor piercing missiles, so somebody's gonna have to shoot it. Alright, this should get them to start charging at us soon. So I could shoot at that beast of Nurgle, but if I don't actually kill it, it's a complete waste. Sucks I've got that plague drone of Nurgle here, because it would be nice to not have that pin us down so we can get some more shots off. Try to get as much value out of this as we possibly can. They're trying to dodge us, understandably. Just dish out as much damage as we possibly can. I was never going to uh, dish out much. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised they haven't advanced yet. Still dicking around. The AI in these uh, choke point battles can really easily be derped out. Now, if I had any flying units, I'd try to get it around the other side, but we don't have any flying units, so I can't use tactics that are just not available to me. But yeah, it looks like we did... Yeah, we've used up a fair bit of our ammo. This one's coming in here. If I try to shoot out, it's not going to work because there's, there's too much elevation obstruction here. So just let it run its course. Okay, now while that's going on, let's get going. We've got to get into position over here. K 
Okay, I want to... I'm not sure if they're actually... I want to get into a triple line situation, please. I wouldn't mind. Triple line me up. Okay, so I fully... Exp okay, good. We got Tamakan's attention. Good. That means he'll definitely be delayed for the majority of this battle. But that just means we have to fight him at the end of the battle instead of at the beginning. Right, get over here. Because it takes longer for them to kill us if we're not actually engaging them in melee. Yeah, use your breath attack because you only get so many of those. I think he's obstructed. Alright. They're... Yeah, they're sending some units over here, a bit at a time. And that one actually might make it off the battlefield. Okay, now, everyone else, let's get ready. So, sacrificed one unit, but I think that was very much worth it. Alright, let's go and see what's going on over here. All of these are visible. Good, it looks like we're going to be nice and organized by the time they arrive. It's exactly what we wanted. So that unit there bought us time. Now, the next thing is that Tamara Khan's got a direct line for coming over here. But the thing is with this game, in these sort of situations, is once we've hit the five minute mark, enemy units tend to uh, advance a lot slower. Hang on, we need to check aboard. As much as we possibly can. And here we go. Alright, you've got... Yeah, you've got the Tormentor Sword. That can be really handy as well. Okay, quite a lot of units coming in. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, and... Did that work on that one? Doesn't look like it. Okay, you guys need to shoot those rot flies. They're pissing me off. Tell them to get close. That's it, that's it. Get him. Okay, the... The Rot Knights aren't doing too much, because they're anti large They're honestly a bad choice for this battle for them. Overall, great units, but not in this situation. We need to reorganize there. That was not ideal for us there at all. Okay, we got some life magic. Let's try to keep our guys alive as long as possible here. They got a big task ahead of them. Okay, get out of the way. We don't want to be fighting Chaos Warriors with them. Just get out of the way. That's it. Ah, oh, awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, they've got Ogres coming in. You can tank for a little bit, because we want multiple units to be damaged. Oh, we could also do this. And you've got one as well. Okay. I think these ogres are going to cause too much trouble. They chase after us. Good. Good, good, good. I feel like that spell's as good as it maybe we used to be. Oh, God, that's not good. <laughs> too many units trying to shoot that rock fly. This is why it's important to have them come in, like, bit at a time. Okay, that was great, that was great. Everyone stop firing. Stop, stop. Waste of ammo. Oh, Kazik. No. Where's... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Alright, they're all shattered. That's fine. Let them go. Alright, that was pretty good. How's everyone doing? I can't say I love this formation at the back here. It's just a little bit too tight. Try and spit out a little bit more. We advance. Alright, Kazik's coming in. Don't even bother trying to shoot him. He is too fucking hard to hit because he's kind of small. But this unit here and this one should do quite well against him. Problem is we need to shoot the other stuff. Okay, hang on. Let's hit, stand behind him there. Okay, good. Good. Okay, yeah, just don't shoot him. Kind of a waste of ammo. And pop this down. Okay, resume firing. Here we go. But if you're going to shoot anything, shoot at the Chaos Chariots, please. Oh, no. Could you... Could you not? Could you not? Just could you just not? <laughs> could you fuck off just for a little bit? Oh. I don't have any unit that I can really justify sending after him to, like, to hold him back. Okay, I got an idea. Maybe you have one unit stand over this way. That might be able to just take the brunt of his... Fucking charge. Okay, if you go into wide formation, that'll do less damage on the um 
uh, on the Toad Dragon breath attack thing. Uh, my poor, my poor, freaking guys over here. These these guys here taking a lot of damage. I'm trying to heal them. Oh, here we go. All right, now we need to get rid of Tamakan in a timely manner. Once he's in range of everyone, I'll just tell them all to shoot at him. And let's just hope that it works. Hopefully we've got enough ammunition, because, yeah, there's no getting around this. Okay, we also need to make sure that... Oh, God. This more just going to pin us down. That no heroes are close by to him. Uh, don't do that just yet. That's working out pretty well. Oh, my fucking God. Because he's standing right still. Okay, I need you to turn around and shoot at them. Yeah, you two, stay the fuck away from him. Stay away from him, because if he dies and we're within 30 meter range, he will fuck us up. Get out of the way. Keep shooting. Keep shooting at him. Don't worry about those rock flies. Keep shooting at him. Yeah, I need you to fight him. He's gone up. Fucking wizard. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Have we got the thing ready? Yep, do that. We've almost got him. Come on, a little bit more. One more shot. You can do it. Come on, get him. Come on, fucking hell, just die, you piece of shit. Come on, die. All right, awesome. That's really good, but we're still not in the clear. Oh, God. God, 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 God. All right, come on. We're still not in the clear. That looks pretty good over there. Oh, my God. Kazik is being a dickhead. Stop it. Just get him. Okay, this one's out of ammo. Go over here and keep him distracted. All right, we've got this one over here. Needs to get rid of that. Alright, and then I reckon a dweller's below right in there. I don't know, I think I might actually have this. You need to turn around over here and shoot into some of these big fatsos here. I might actually have it. Okay, we've still got another one of these into the nice big clusters of shitheads. Okay. They're still trying to go after the wizard. Now, as I said before, Kazik is unbreakable, so even if we inflict the army losses, we still got to get rid of him. And our fucking guy here, I don't see him surviving much longer. That is doing a fair bit of friendly fire, but unfortunately, their units are worth more than mine. I just have to do it. That was just really unlucky with that. I'm really trying hard to get rid of my lord here. Yeah, try to get rid of the Beast of Nurgle. Pretty easy to kill, worth lots of bounce of power. Where's Kazik? Oh, there he is. And here he comes. Come on, army losses. I think part of the problem here is that we're really low on ammo. Okay, I think that's a bit too blobbed up over there. If I charge into this, I don't think it's going to do anything. And of course, they're fighting pretty much to the death. Yeah, Kazik, just keep that one busy. How are you doing over here? Pin them down a little bit. Ah, oh, that one is shooting at me. That's why I'm taking just damage every here and there. Okay, this one's out of ammo. You go in there, and I'll pull this one out in just a moment. Keeps the flame. You coming back? Probably not. You're out of ammo. You hold that one back just a little bit longer. Yeah, don't shoot at Kazik. Don't worry about that. We'll deal with him after the rest of these other guys have an army lost. And this one's nearly gone. Because I feel like this guy here will be okay against it. Kazik is anti-infantry. Uh, fuck, I'm, where's my ammo at? Yeah, you move back. Oh my god, is that all the ammo I've got? Alright, you guys move at the back. Alright, who's that wizard that fucking did that? Don't get into a blob. Alright, you're already in melee with him. Alright, things are calming down, but the biggest problem now is he's going to be dealing with Kazik. Oh, he's coming back at me again. Do have some magic. I'm trying to kill our own units too much there. Okay, let's get a little bit organized with our archers. I do not have much ammo left. I gotta make it count. Okay, that's. I gotta get rid of that. 
Oh my god, I just can't get the fucking army losses on them. Yeah, you need to kill this dude here. It keeps casting really powerful spells on us. I've only got a tiny little bit of ammo left. I've still got to get rid of Kazik. Oh, fuck this. Oh my god, there's more units coming. Shit, I'm out of magic. Direct me, son of Oldfoot, Northern Seagull. He will obey. Here are those bile trolls. If we don't shoot them, that's a big problem. If we don't, get rid of that. Shit, this one, this fucking guy here. Let's try to just get someone to pin it down. Doesn't have that much ammo left, but still. Come on, kill him. She doesn't have that much more value anymore. Just go stand over here. Okay, things are coming down. Oh my god, this is so fucking close. Holy crap. So, we've at, we've definitely reached the point where we could have inflicted the army losses on them. But because we're so low on ammo, we're also suffering from, like, army loss type <laughs> situation. We could have been army lost at this point as well. I think it's all going to come down to this noble here. He's doing just fucking excellent. Okay, hang on. The last two units that have ammo, let's try to squeeze around here. Oh my god, it's got so little ammo left. Try not to blob up. Yeah, unfortunately, Kha'Zix's going to have a lot of regen. Command over here. That guy there I'm not too worried about. Shoot into that. Hurry up and kill him! Alright, these trolls are coming back. Yeah, more important to kill these trolls, I think. Yeah, but you come over here if we charge in their rear, I might be able to break them. Oh my god, I'm out of ammo. The whole time has been playing bloody chaos music. Okay, stop, it's shattered, don't need to shoot it any further. Alright, shoot them. I don't think it's gonna do much, but charge in there. Oh my god, this guy here will not fucking die. Slow case again a little good, it's starting to break. Alright, we need to start killing Kazik. I need a Lothurn Sea Guard unit because it's anti large. Get in there. You get in there as well because you're anti large as well. And we're sandwiched. Oh, good look, two archer units actually managed to be it. Okay. Oh my god, there's no army loss penalty in this battle. Okay, don't, don't waste any more ammo. Oh my god, I got nothing left anyway. It will be done. Okay, at least Kazik has hit his max regen. That's a big deal. Alright, with the last little bit of ammo I've got, I think I'd prefer to shoot at Kazik. I really don't think this guy here is that big of a threat. Just send more archer units to keep him busy. Yeah, at least we've got the Tormentor Sword. That's good. These guys here. Okay, get out of guard mode now, because we are pretty much out of ammo. <laughs> God, it is down to the wire. I don't think there's any more coming. My God. So you can see what he means by the heroes are a problem. Yep. Alright, give him that. Try to hit him in the rear wherever possible. Lower his melee attack so he doesn't kill our hero there. That's good. I can't really get a good shot on him. Maybe I'll try to shoot the, um, the Chaos Dwarf. It's not going to do much, but... Might as well use the last little bit of ammo. Although I think if we kill Kazik, we might actually army loss this dude. Because he's not the greatest thing in melee. Oh my God, no, he's aiming for my he my hero. I can't have that. 
My hero needs to keep fighting Kha'Zix. So far, it's working. Alright, got a good hit on us there. That's good. Alright, send more guys over here. I reckon we might be able to route him. Kazik pinned down. Maybe shoot him even. Sign a play on music. That's good. Bounce power should be in our favor. <laughs> it's a legendary difficulty. But come on. Come on. God. Try to protect the integrity of this. Oh, yeah, let's find something to come back. Wish I had a. Oh, no! no. Wish I had a little bit more magic so I could do a bit more healing. Don't really want to be fighting too close to the edge, though, in case we break. Kaze again ended up being more of a pain in the ass than Tamarkan. But the thing is, we focus fired on Tamarkan. I just couldn't do that with this guy. He's too small. I think we got really lucky with Tamarkan, to be honest. The fact that he just, like, sat there and got shot, lost half of his health like that. Okay, that's it. You want Kaze to be fighting garbage and not hitting our Noble. Because, yeah, straight up duel. Our noble definitely won't win. Plus, we have to keep in mind he won't fight to the death where Kazik will. God, even eating into his ass, I just can't fucking damage this guy enough. Okay, we've army lost them, so that's great. Yeah, you get in there and run him down, because they're not going to do it. God damn, talk about friggin' close. Holy moly. Yeah. Whenever Kazik actually turns around to fight him, try to pull out. A little bit more to go. That's it. You want to make sure we're hitting his rear. He's got lower melee defense, and if he's not hitting us back, that's good. Because the only guy that can beat him is this one. Although the Lothlan Sea Guard can grind him down, just not efficiently. Well, on the plus side to this battle, while it did cost you a lot, it's definitely cost Tamarkan a lot. And he, he, Nurgle has a harder time replacing high-tier units than other factions, unless they're a massive empire. So it could take him quite a long time to actually get enough unit capacity for it. Yeah, we got him. We got him. Where do you think you're going? We got you. We got you. Couple more hits. There we go. What a fucking slog. I mean, we literally cheese the shit out of it, and it could not have been any closer. I mean, I've still got a lot of units on the battlefield for sure, but we used up just about every little bit of ammo that we had. I reckon we were so close to getting an army lost ourselves. Okay, make sure this guy here gets wounded, if we can. Looks like the Lord might actually manage it. Yeah, she's managing it. I was actually going to say that a light wizard might have been better, but honestly, life magic really came in quite well there. I don't think any of our units got wiped out either, even the one that we sacrificed at the beginning. Because, yeah, units that break, they tend to be really hard for melee units to properly pin them down. Yeah, look at the damage difference of um, Tamarkan versus <laughs> freaking Kasich. Oh my god. But yeah, there was no way in hell you were going to be able to hold that choke point against this kind of force. Look, Kazakh is just so fucking strong. That being said, these guys here, they were sort of wiped out before Kazakh showed up. They would have done very well against him. But 
But that being said, it's not like these guys here did, not, did nothing. They held the line very well for a long time. They didn't get so many kills, but that's not really their job. And I'm pretty sure they're not wiped out. And now a good plus side. This defeat trade is especially good for the High Elves because they can't infinitely keep increasing their global bonus, uh, global um, uh, global recruit slots, except by defeating Tamrakan. So make sure that this Lord here doesn't get killed. Which, she was level 14, so she'll probably go to level 16 now. She's pretty close to immortality. And you also get the three extra hero capacity, which isn't that big of a deal for the High Elves, probably at this stage of the campaign, because increasing your hero capacity for them should be relatively easy. But, you know, three extras, good. It's taken a while to load. I think it's because they're late in the campaign. Usually earlier in the campaign, it's a lot quicker to load. That being said, I need to get a new computer. There's like a um, end of financial year sale in the place where I usually buy my computer. So I reckon I'll get one at the end of this month. All right, cool. God damn. All right, what should we get shit? I, I think that even if the remnants of this came back and attacked, we're in okay state. Like, the amount of replenishment there is not that much, and your money situation is not fantastic. So let's, let's get you that. Oh, you're also very close to friggin' Clan Rictus. You're in encamp stance, though. Oh, you're in a lot of wars. Alright, let's see how the rest of this turn goes. Hopefully nothing else bad happens. Alright, let's just skip all this. Oh, uh, you know what? You know what? Let's be real, at this stage of the campaign, you just know how long the Dark Elf turn is going to be. Because of all the black arcs, let's just this is in the episode here. I'll just get through the rest of this turn in my own time. <laughs> anyway, guys, appreciate all the support lately. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Plenty more content to come. Really appreciate you. Don't be scared to send me save files. I'm not gonna bite your head off unless you're rude to me. Okay, just you know, show me a, just a medium amount of respect, and I'll show you the exact same amount back. Anyway, appreciate you, and we'll see you next time. Later, guys.